guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So I know that everything is really crazy right now. I hope that you guys are staying home and taking good care of yourselves and just spending some quality time with family. Today I'm going to be doing a haul of some of the Sakura merchandise that I purchased at Daiso earlier. And I know that everyone is like buying off everything off the shelves right now. I like to buy stationary supplies. I went nuts with the stickers and the notebooks. Anyway, let's get started. First up is this cherry blossom bento box. It's double layered and it's perfect for an outdoor picnic or a hanami. I also got this slim water bottle and I just thought this was so cool because it was so thin. I also like how it has this little handle that comes up. I think this is my favorite cherry blossom item and I've actually seen this a couple years ago or maybe last year. But I think this is a great bowl to use for a party or you can even use it to put your jewelry or other little trinkets in. I also got this blue reusable tote that folds up into a little pocket and I think that these are always useful. This is a drink muddler so when you make cocktails you can stir it up with this pretty sakura stick. I'm really into reusable straws lately and I thought that these ones were so pretty and it even comes with the cleaning brush. Umbrellas are so useful and I'm always breaking my umbrella because it will blow inside out when it's really windy. So it's always nice to have a couple of extra on hand. I decided to get a few of them because I'm going to be giving these to my Patreons, but I can't really decide which one I like better. Let me know in the comments if you think the pink one or the blue one is prettier. I think I like the blue one better, but my kids wanted to keep the pink one. I'm always in need of notebooks for my kids, whether it's for writing for school or drawing, and these ones are so pretty. I love the texture of these notebooks. It's like high-end paper source paper, and this one has a gold finish on it, which is so pretty. So I basically had to buy all the cherry blossom stickers. This one comes with two packs, and it's really glittery and pretty. I really like this one too, it has an embossed finish and this one is such a steal because it comes with 5 sheets of stickers in one pack and this was only a thousand one. So this is what it looks like up close. It also comes in pink and this one also has 5 sheets and here is what the embossing looks like up close. It's so pretty. Let me know in the comments if you like the pink one or the blue one better. This comes with a pack of four sticker sheets and it's just this iridescent cherry blossom sticker. This kind of reminds me of those stickers from the 80s that used to come in perforated sheets but they're much smaller than this. This is a really pretty simple cherry blossom set that comes with four sheets and this one comes with five sheets and there are different variations of cherry blossoms stuck together. Okay, I have a weakness for these flake stickers. They're really hard for kids to use, but for some reason, I really like them. And this one comes with a whole bunch of different cherry blossoms and leaves. I really love washi tapes and this one was such a steal. I got four for one dollar basically. And this one came with three washi tapes but one was a little bit thicker than the others. And I'm going to just do a little demo of these tapes so you can see what they look like. Here's the first one. And then this one kind of looks like the water bottle pattern that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And this is like an airmail stripe but it's light pink and blue rather than red and blue. There are actually many different varieties of cherry blossom trees and I like how these different tapes capture that they're all slightly different. This thick one looks like it's a white cherry blossom tree that's contrasted against a night sky. It's so pretty. And I like how this one has the petals in different stages. Some are closed and open and some are single petals that are falling from the trees. This is also a washi tape, but it's in the form of these little stickers. And I like these because they're removable. You can stick them on and remove them easily.
I also picked up some cherry blossom wrapping paper which is going to be used for Sienna's birthday since her birthday is in March. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys some of the non-cherry blossom stuff that I got. These are flake stickers and I have some of these already but I just kind of wanted to stock up or hoard some more because I ended up using these a lot for my kids things and they really like them. They have different themes. This one looks like it's a candy theme and isn't that bear macaroon the cutest? This one is a school theme. I love this little white fluffy doggy with the pink bow. These are pencil grippers I got for my kids for school. And here's some iridescent washi tape. Valentina has some of this and it's so pretty. We all love it. So I thought I would just get a few extra rolls and we can all use it together. My kids love to make projects with this, so I'll just do a quick clip at the end to show you how they use it. I thought that these pencil sharpeners were so cute. You can just remove the green stem and sharpen your pencil. And then we always need stickers in my house. These Alice in Wonderland stickers we've gotten before, and this one has a nice drawing on the back where you can stick the stickers. This one, Sienna picked out the really girly princessy stickers that have sort of an iridescent look to them. And on the back they have some matte stickers. These little animal stickers are so adorable and my kids are always using stickers for their projects or to make cards for friends and family, so we can always use these. This one has sort of a party theme to it, so I think that these stickers will look really cute on a birthday card. My kids like to make birthday cards for our family members. And this one has sort of a dessert theme to it. It's so cute and it comes with two sticker sheets. And these stickers are actually a little bit fuzzy. I think that these textured stickers are so fun. It seems like we always need glue sticks in my house because my kids are always using them. This one is kind of cool because it's colored but I think it dries clear. Another thing that we always use are erasers, and I figured my kids could use these for back to school in the future. After living in Japan and Korea, I've gotten into the habit of always labeling my kids things because you're required to do that for school, so I just bought some of these that you can just iron on. These are little sheets of soap and they come in handy whenever you go to a place that doesn't happen to have soap at the sink. That really bothers me so I love keeping these on hand. They used to sell them at the body shop or Bath and Body Works but I haven't seen them for a really long time. This is one of those things that was sitting at the cashier so while they were ringing up my stuff I just picked it up and decided to add it to my cart. And this is a stamp that says Cham Chard Soyo in Korean which means you did a really good job and I figured I could use it to stamp my kids stuff. My kids picked out these llama books for all of us and I think that they're really nice because they have tons of sheets of colored paper. This is great for drawing and decorating and making notes. Okay, get ready for a massive notebook haul. I just decided to go all out and stock up on all the notebooks that I thought were cute. First off, we have these Kudatama ones. And then this one is really adorable and it actually has a divider so you can divide it into like two or three subjects, I think. But I just really like the design of this. I think that my kids will be able to use this when they get older because you're always needing notebooks in school. And here's some that you can use to practice writing. So they all have different things inside. This first one has these little mini blocks that I think is great for practicing a journal entry. And then this one has squares that is good for practicing writing in Hangul or even in Japanese, hiragana and katakana. You practice writing it in the boxes. I thought this was such a steal, 10 notebooks for 3,000 won, and this is a learn English notebook, so it's great for like kindergarten or first grade. It has this lined paper that you can use to write letters properly. I wish there were three lines instead of four, but it's okay, I think this is good enough. And these are plain notebooks for sketching or drawing, my kids always need paper for drawing. If you enjoyed that, check out these videos right here and let me know in the comments how you guys are doing and take
take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.